Hi everyone. So we did our varnish video and now we're going to do our resin. So I am using the Stone Coat Art Coat resin. Uh, this is from Stone Coat Countertops. All the links for this resin is, is always below any video that I do. Um, I am an affiliate for them so I make sure that link is there um, using our code POSSE. P-O-S-S-E at checkout will get you 10 off 95. So today we're going to do flood coating. So I'm going to go ahead and measure my resin out. They're equal parts. And very simple to mix. Now this art coat is UV inhibited, so it shouldn't be yellow. All right, so when mixing resin, I always put this one in first, which is the part B, the hardener, because it is thinner and it's easier to move around in your cup. And then to that, I'll add my Part A, which is the thicker resin, much thicker. Kind of like honey out of a jar. So I always make sure I scrape that cup real well and get most of it out. And I do not scrape the side of my mixing cup. I'll leave that there because I'm going to be doing quite a few. So I'm hoping I have you at a pretty good angle so you'll be able to see. Uh, this is a silicone mat that I ordered through um, a link on Canela's channel. Um, Tammy Anderson has it also and Ann Osborne. You can get 5% off I believe or $5 off ordering it's silicone so everything should peel right off of it when it dries. So we want to stir this as long as we possibly can, which is usually about three minutes. Until um, your arm hurts, then you know it's kind of stirred enough. So I am doing this painting tonight. I have a lot. I have probably about 20 that I want to get done. And of course we have our auction coming up at the end of the month. Um, but I do want to get some of these in my Etsy shop. <coughs> So none of these have silicone in them. Um, this was my Dutch pour. I actually did quite a few of those with the gold. So I'm curious to see how they're going to look with resin. So when you're mixing your resin, you want to watch because the part A will have strands and you'll see that when you're mixing. Um, I usually pick up my stick to see if they're still there. Moving the resin around in the cup helps too to see if it's there. So I'm just going to stir this for about another minute. Always scraping those sides. And now I'll do my stick because I've got most of it down in there. Put it back in and keep stirring. So I'm mixing up just a small batch to show y'all. Usually I use a measuring cup and I make about two and a half cups of resin. But the better you, the longer you stir, the better you want it to get incorporated really well so you don't end up with any sticky spots after it cures. And that's if you get a sticky spot or a divot that might mean you have not mixed your resin long enough. When you think it's been mixed long enough, mix it again. Stir it some more. Okay. I think that's pretty good. I might be able to get two paintings out of this cup. We'll see. Because that's only about six ounces of resin. All right. <clears throat> so I'm going to put some down. 
And remember, this is just a flood coat, so first coat doesn't matter, second coat is more important. I always do two coats of resin because this is canvas. Oops, sorry guys. Kicked it with my foot. I always put it on with my hand so I can see where I need to thin it out or where it needs more. And I do do my sides. Some people tape them off and leave them bare. But I'm, I'm definitely one to finish a painting. I like everything to be pretty. Taking that little extra time shows how much you care about your art and not just producing art to sell. A little heavy here. So once you get that on, that's pretty good. It really slides on this mat. I don't know if I like that. <laughs> Now, when I do the next coat tomorrow, I'll be putting a piece of cardboard in the back and pushing the middle up a little bit so it flows over the sides. Um, when you're working with resin, um, it's best to have a rag. Uh, if you watch Jeff and Erica, Jeff always has an alcohol rag next to him to wipe his hands off. And get my alcohol open. Oh my goodness, that was tough. So yeah, if you get a chance, check out ATD, Artist Till Death. They're uh, great resin artists. I learned quite a bit from them. Okay, so now that it's down, I'm going to go ahead and torch and get my air bubbles out. And then I like to lift it up and look. So I will set this aside and I'll go back to it and see if I have any fuzzies or Anything that needs to be looked at. There's still quite a few bubbles in it. Sometimes just letting it set for a few minutes before you torch helps bring bubbles up too. So I will move that over here. I'm not real picky on the first coat um, because I can sand that all out and put another coat on. All right, let me see how much resin I have left. Let's do a smaller one. I have this little guy that I'll do. Just so you get the idea of how we apply the resin. I do have other resin videos on my channel. Um, I do have second coat videos that show you how to sand and to put the second coat on. So it's really easy to put resin on. It's, um, the trickiest part with resin is, oh, I'm sorry, I did it again, um, is getting that nice and level so it doesn't run off to one side. Everything I have, my wrecks, everything are all leveled already, so I don't usually have that problem. So I'm going to go ahead and torch that one. those air bubbles out and this will continue the bubbles will continue to start rising more as it sets I like to run, um, to run the torch about 
every 15 minutes for the first half hour to 45 minutes and that starts to set up pretty well but that's it guys uh, stone coat use the code um, get your ten dollars off your ninety five dollar order if you get uh, this is the gallon kit so they're two half gallons um, all you need is a cup and a stir stick you don't have to buy anything fancy for resin because you probably already have a torch you can also use a heat gun or an embossing gun but the torch works best for bubbles uh, they dissipate much faster than they do and it doesn't heat up the resin as much so that's about it for this video subscribe if you haven't already click on that bell for notifications we're going to be bringing lots of different things to the channel now um, also click like and share leave a comment let me know what you think about the stone coat if you've been using it and if you like it I love it um, I probably won't switch to any other resin at all and um, join us every Monday night live at 9 p.m. on our channel we do some acrylic pouring and get into t uh, questions and answers and just have a great we have a great time but thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you all on the next one bye now <laughs>